Hey there, back at Really City Farm. Today we got a big day planned for us. We gotta reskin the tunnel. Uh, we lost in the storm a few weeks ago. We finally got all the parts in. Uh, so we're gonna, we've been fixing it up over this week, trying to get all the little stuff sorted out. And now we're ready to go. So today is the big day. We're gonna get the plastic up. All right, so Rob over here is uh, opening up the plastic. And whenever you order plastic for a greenhouse or a high tunnel, just be really careful you order the right size. And uh, you know, definitely leave yourself some extra, at least like five or 10 feet in the length and definitely a couple feet on either side. Uh, I ordered this plastic from Bootstrap Farmer. They do make some great products and I'll leave a link down below for this. And uh, a lot of the parts that I got for the tunnel, I got from Tunnel Vision. They just, I could buy most of the stuff from one place and they had some cool stuff. I'll leave links down below and I'll get into more of the details as we go through the day. Also make sure you have a bunch of people helping you out. Uh, any extra sets of hands will be good. You wanna pick a day that it's not windy. Um, and if a day that's a little bit warmer too, so that the plastic is, um, you know, as it heats up, it will stretch out. So if you put it on on a really cold day and then heats up, it'll get all loose and saggy. So those are the things you're looking for. Have some people with you, make sure it's not super windy and the warmest day you can get would be, uh, would be beneficial. So first thing is uh, we're gonna try to get the plastic up and over the tunnel. All right, so here's the setup. We got the roll on a piece of top rail here and supported by sawhorses. And Gene's over here, tying up the end, we're gonna bring the string down over the top and then try to pull this up and over the top here. So that's the strategy. Let's see how it goes. All right, so Lisa's untangling uh, the rope here. And we got Rob up top here. Looks so funny with you sticking out of the top of the tunnel. All right, so we're pulling the rope down. All right, we're gonna need a ladder on the other end. All right, and then we're gonna get this uh, up to the top and try to pull it over so it runs along the top as much as possible. All right, so we got the rope up and over the top ridge and uh, we're gonna start feeding the plastic over while pulling the rope. Hopefully this works, <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> So it was a little hectic there for a little while. We got the plastic over. We have it just tacked on the top on both sides to try to get it sort of straight and in the middle. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the wiggle wire here uh, and put it in the middle on both sides and then work our way uh, down the line to try to get it tight as we go. Um, so let me get back to it. We don't have a ton of, ton of people here, so you can see the plastic's blowing around. Um, so I'm gonna get to that. <laughs> You know? All right, so I got the first piece of wiggle wire in, in the center and then we're gonna go work our way down on both sides. Let me go on the other side. All right, I'm back on the other side here and we're gonna, Gene's gonna pull down while I put the wiggle wire in. And this is pretty much in the same location, just on the other side. Just trying to get some tension on here. All right, so we got a lot of things flapping around here, but uh, we're just gonna work our way across and uh, try to get this tacked down and try to get tension from the center out on both sides. Yeah, all right, so I had to put the camera down for a second, but we got it from basically the middle all the way down and two of us were working on it. One was pulling while the other person was putting in the wiggle wire. So right as of now, we have the, the tops of the ridges tacked in and then this much. And let me show you what's going on the other side. All right, so across the other side and this is the back side that we've already tacked in on the other side. So we got two of us uh, one pulling down, the other person putting in the wiggle wire. If you've never seen wiggle wire before, 
It's super simple. You just wiggle it back and forth. And the great thing about wiggle wire is you can take it out if you need to adjust things or replace the plastic. It's, uh, it's super simple. Always side projects going on here. This is that sink that was uh, in the tunnel. So this side is all done. And so is the other side. And as we were doing this, we were sort of pulling down and towards the ends, just working our way across. And we did the other side too. So now we're gonna start working at the tops here. You can see the plastic blown around quite a bit. So I think we're gonna have a couple people on the ground pulling down while someone's up there with the wiggle wire getting that in. All right, here we are getting the last wiggle wire in on this ridge here. So, someone's up top, someone's down low keeping it tight, but We're wiggling it. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. wiggle wiggle. So we got all the wiggle wire done, and um, yeah, it's feeling good now the wind's flapping around. I know the plastic's not going anywhere. A little hectic for a little while there, but we're gonna do roll up sides on this, and it's a pretty simple system, and um, I'll leave links to show you uh, the, my sources for this. And basically we have on the bottom here, this is uh, top rail fencing. It's galvanized, it's like one and three eighths inch. Um, there were some that were already here and we were missing a couple sections that were bent so we swapped them out but I bought these 10, 10 and a half feet sections, you can get them at Home Depot or Lowe's. And they're great, they're nice and sturdy, they're heavy so it'll keep it weighted down. And the key with this is you wanna take your time and one of the things that can go wrong with roll up sides is that you don't get the spacing right. And when you don't get the spacing right, it doesn't roll straight or it's, you know, it doesn't work right. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to use these clamps um, and these are made for this size pipe and what we're going to do is keep it spaced equally so it's already tight up here at the wiggle wire and we're going to hold it down tight and I'm just using these pliers for a spacer you can use pretty much anything as long as you use the same spacer across so we're going to have this tight here I'm going to put this against the plastic Put this against the pipe here and then we'll we'll put the clamp on and that way as you work down uh, we'll have it all the same width so when you roll it up it should roll up nice and straight so that's what we're gonna do now all right so putting the pliers in um, soft side against the plastic and then rub snapping the, uh, the clips on pretty easy with two sets of hands for sure these guys are amazing so we got the sides all laid out we got all those clamps on um, now we're going to drive screws through the clamps just to hold it in place so they don't slip off of uh, their location. But before we do that and commit to where they are, we're just going to try to roll it up and make sure that it's straight and if we have to make any adjustments, we can do that before we put the screws in. So we drove a screw into each clamp here and that keeps it from sliding around but we had to make sure that it was rolling up straight and we had an issue where one of the things wasn't screwed together properly so yeah we got, uh, yeah, we got that and then we're going to put this little piece of tape on it that way. It's not gonna be rubbing against the plastic. So pretty simple, very effective. So now we're gonna put the rope along the side and that's gonna keep the uh, sidewalls from flapping around and also from keeping it from dropping down to the ground all the way. So it'll just keep it really tight and make the up and down motion very smooth. And the way that we're gonna attach that are using these really cool uh, clip fastener things. And they're really neat because they will clip in to the wiggle wire channel. And they also have a screw hole so we can screw them in at the bottom. And then you can see how the rope will go right through here. So we're gonna attach these along uh, along the side here. We're first gonna do a, a piece of rope that goes down this way and then we will zigzag across. So we're basically done now. We got the roll up sides done. Uh, we just have a little bit of extra trimming to do on uh, on the, all the sides and stuff, but we got it rough cut just for now, just to finish up running out of time today. But let me show you how this system works. It's super simple. We got these parts uh, from Tunnel Vision. As I said, I'll leave a link down below for all the stuff that I used here. Um, but basically, we got a handle here. This is just a piece of top rail that we cut to whatever length you want. And then there's a universal joint here. And all you have to do is unroll it. And you can see it doesn't go down all the way to the bottom because the ropes hold it. And then when you roll back up, super easy. And then 
just take this and uh, prop it on the ground. It's good to go. Tunnel, for all intents and purposes, is ready to go. Um, There's a couple weeks setback, uh, and I just, again, can't thank the volunteers here enough. Everyone's just been so positive and energetic and just pushing through to get things done, and it's just, man, it's awesome. So, uh, yeah, we'll get this guy, we'll get this guy planted pretty soon, and luckily we have the beds pretty much ready to go, and after soon, uh, probably next week, I'll be hooking up irrigation in here. We're just gonna use a couple of wobblers to get started. Anyways, just uh, keeping you guys updated with the progress here on the farm. We're chipping away at it. We'll be growing vegetables pretty soon. I'm beyond excited. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, we'd greatly appreciate it if you could do that. It really does help a lot. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.